Adam Jones, I'm the Volunteer Centre Development Officer at Cardiff Hood Sector Council and we're super excited to be visiting the Dusty Forge this afternoon uh, for a great day meeting volunteers. So welcome to ACE Action in Kyra and Ely at the Dusty Forge. My name is Helen Bull and I'm the Volunteer Development Officer at ACE. ACE's key aim is to create vibrant, equal and resilient communities for all, where people find fulfilment in themselves, each other and the place where they live. And one of the ways that they do this is through volunteering and we currently have around 70 volunteers between the Dusty Forge and the Kaya Heritage Centre. And today we're focusing on two of those projects that are run at the Dusty Forge, Café Bar and The Pantry. Café Bar is volunteer-led and it's open two days a week on a Tuesday and a Thursday providing low-cost food and drinks for the community and anyone else who wishes to come in. And the Pantry is also volunteer-led and it's a, a new kind of community shop which provides healthy and affordable food to people in Ely and Kyra. So a small weekly membership fee enables community members to choose from a range of food items and helps reduce those food shopping bills, saving approximately £15 on an average shop. And ACE is just so grateful to have such a wonderful group of volunteers who serve the community with great enthusiasm and commitment. Hayes. And what's your role at ACE? My role at ACE is I'm lead volunteer for Cafe Bar. So what do you hope for your volunteering in the future? I'm hoping for my volunteering in the future, I'm hoping to start getting paid. <laughs> so you're looking to get into employment? And... Yes. yes, so I'll be paid for working, well, yeah. Is it that your hope is to start working with ACE as a as an, a, an employee? It is because, like I said, I've been volunteering for six years here. I know everybody. I know what goes on in the place. So, so that's the next step I think now going forward is is, is working not not full time because it won't it won't it won't um, fit my family life, but perhaps part time. Yeah, and can you tell us a little bit about the? Like people you've got to know here at ACE and made friends and the people that you volunteer with? It's like we're not, it's, we don't, it's just like even even the community members, we're just one big family. Like we get our regulars that come in, we make friends and then we just stay, we just sort of stay friends. It's not like your staff, your community members, your volunteers. We're all, all the same in my eyes. So Tasha, what would you say to anyone thinking about volunteering? I'll definitely volunteer um, up here because like, you just volunteer that little bit but then it just, it just seems to grow and you want it not only does it help you, it helps your mental health it, 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 you're not isolated with anything anymore, you come out to make friends and then it just, it's like a little, it's like a little tree you start off volunteering so that's like the little roots and then you just sort of blossom Every day is different. <laughs> What's your name? Hi guys, my name is Sarah Whitfield. I'm the lead volunteer for the pantry in the Dusty Forge. Can you tell us what your favourite thing about volunteering at ACE is? Oh, my favourite thing about volunteering is getting to know the people and helping the community. Um, we're all in the same boat, we're all struggling. Also, as a lead volunteer, I'm not just a lead volunteer, I'm a pantry member also as well, because I struggle with my same as anybody else. Can you talk us through how volunteering's helped you and the, um, the skills that you've gained? Oh, to be quite honest with you, the skills I've gained doing the pantry is correct. It's, it's amazing. Um, I've done all different courses. I've done my first aid, uh, food and hygiene. I've done mental health first aid, which does come in handy because people have got different aspects of who come into the pantry, so it's nice to help people. Uh, I'm doing a diversity course at the moment, and I'm doing also doing a self-awareness course. Um, coming to the pantry, um, I, I came to join as a member, but I asked for volunteers. That was three years ago and I haven't left. 
So it helps my mental health as well, because if I was at home, I think I'd go crazy. So, yeah. <laughs> What's the most challenging aspect of your role? There isn't a specific challenge. It's because we all work together as a team. And that's what I love about it. Um, if one fall, if one one falls apart, the other person's there to pick you up because we're all one big family. So that's what I love. So there's not really a big challenge because we're all together. So. Can you tell us a little bit about the people that you've got to know whilst volunteering and the friends that you've made? In the pantry, it's we're all family. So to be quite honest with you, it's not just friends. We're family now. So so we're all together. But pantry members who do come in. We get time slots, so we give them 10 minutes time slots, so we get to know the person. So it's nice because we can do a wellbeing check, and it's like not in, out, or out, take care. You get to know the person's name, you get, really, you get to know their family as well. The ins and the outs, and that's what I love about it, because I love speaking to people, and I'm a social, I'm a social person. <laughs> so, yeah. And what would you say to anyone who's thinking about volunteering, uh, Sarah? I say come and join us. At the end of the day, we're all together. We all love being volunteers. And we're all one big family. So come and join us. Perfect, thank you. Bye.